baby back rib it is. Welcome back everyone. As you can tell by looking at me, I like to eat. Therefore, you gotta learn to cook. Of course, I love cooking outside anyway. Here's how I like to do my baby back ribs. There's many ways, but this is the way I love to do it. I know I might lose some of you here, but yep, that's mustard I'm putting on my ribs. I know what you're saying. I put mustard on hot dog, not ribs. And I get you, I understand. But take a look at the ingredients on mustard next time. It's got vinegar in it and garlic, salt, oil. If you look at a lot of old time rib recipes, there's all that involved. And I like using badaya, it's a complete all around seasoning, but you can use whatever you want. Salt, pepper, garlic, that's pretty much what you need. And the mustard helps bind everything to the ribs. I add a little extra salt because I just, I love salt. But badaya works well. And like I was saying, the mustard helps bind it and I think it helps uh, absorb the, the smoke better it just does a good job i love the bark how the bark turns out when i use mustard and you just want to pat all that seasoning in you can see it mixing in real good and i mean it sticks and binds flip it over and do the other side now i'm going to be doing the uh three two one method and uh this isn't nothing new it's been around a long time uh and it, it never fails for me. It, it's, it's a fail safe as far as I'm concerned on cooking ribs. And I'll show you here in a minute in more detail how to do it. But basically, your ribs go on the grill for three hours. And then after three hours, which is the halfway point, you pull them and you wrap them in full. Put them back on for two hours. And then you open that foil back up for the last hour. It's a total of six hours, three, two, one. And it just makes your ribs fall off the bone. They're not all soggy, but they're not tough at all. I mean, to me, it's just the way a rib is, is supposed to be. Like I said, I'll show you more here in a minute. Just get it all seasoned up and let's get out there and get her going. But first, I gotta show you. Oh, I wish you could smell those. You gotta have beans. You got to have beans with your ribs. Let's get the uh, grill ready. I use a Weber grill. And uh, if you use a cheap grill, here's what I recommend. You uh, go get all your sock drawer money. You mow a couple yards, um, sell a couple things you ain't used in a few years, whatever you gotta do. Load up that cheap grill, donate it to charity or throw it away and go get you a Weber. Cause it's well worth the money in my opinion. I've used this Weber right here for well over six years and I cook on it at least two, three times a week. I also use a chimney as you can see here also have hard times using a lighter sometimes. Does that ever happen to y'all? Sometimes you just gotta beat the snot out of a lighter to get it to work. Sometimes things don't always go your way. You just gotta keep, uh, keep digging at it. There we go. You'll see it won't take much with this chimney. It's the way to go. I don't use no lighter foot. I hate to taste a lighter foot. I definitely don't use no gasoline or motor oil or other things I've seen people do in the past. No, you don't need that. I just use a little bit of the, the bag 
as I'm pouring charcoal from it, I'll stick it up under this chimney. I'll do another video on the chimney, but in 20 minutes, my charcoal's lit, ready to go. Now, I don't dog people who use gas grills. I've used one most of my life. But I just love the taste of stuff cooked over an open fire, and charcoal is about as close as I can get to that. Now, most all of my cooking on the grill is the indirect cooking method. And in future videos, I'll get more in detail on that, but it's not very complicated. Basically, you're just, as you can see, getting all your coals over to one side and uh, you're cooking on the opposite side. All right, got them on the grill indirect. And I use applewood. Um, Applewood's got a mild, sweet smoke flavor. It's not real strong. It's hard for me to screw up applewood. I've been known to over smoke stuff at times, but applewood works real good on this Weber. And so now I've turned this grill basically into a uh, smoker. There's so much you can do with a Weber grill. I've cooked Thanksgiving turkeys on this thing. Well, that's a whole nother video. Now this is a low and slow cook method. So I, I try to cook around 250, 275. We're cooking for six hours. Look at the smoke rolling already. It don't take long. And here I'm an hour and a half in and they're already looking good. Look at that. Hour and a half in, I uh, just kind of come out and move them around a little bit. Try to get some uh, even heat on them. Get them all situated. Close the lid back up. Hour and a half more, that's my first three hours. Now there's a secret to the flavor right there. You, it's hard to get that from a gas grill. That wood smoke flavor, it's just, it's hard to duplicate that from a gas grill, in my opinion. All right, we're three hours in. And they look done, but trust me, they're not. They're looking good. They're starting to separate from the bone a little bit. They're still a little bit tough. So now, like I said, this is a three, two, one method. Now here's the two part. We're gonna wrap them, completely wrap them real good for two hours. Close the grill up, go watch a movie, but not Dances with Wolves. That's like over three hours. You're gonna have to get a shorter movie. Now after two hours, here we go. We're gonna open them back up and then we're gonna leave them open like this for another hour on the grill and that'll complete our six hours, our three, two, one. Three hours you cook open, two hours you cook wrapped in full, and the final hour you just open the foil up like this and let them cook for another hour. And trust me, you'll have you some good ribs on hand when you're done with this. Uh, and Gina's cat Maybell's been supervising. She says it's all good to go. So we're going to get these things off the grill. Get them in the house and uh, get them plated up. Man, them sucker smells so good. Mmm. And here you go. It's time to eat. Wait a minute, where's my beans? 